I want to thank you, Governor. You've uh, you set the foundation uh, for the transition for the next administration. And uh, again, you've, uh, I just want to thank you so much. I know what, what you have some great programs that, uh, that we want to see continued. And uh, with that, I... Yeah, and perhaps we could talk about that when the media is going. <laughs> <laughs> Outgoing Governor Felix Camacho and Governor-elect Eddie Calvo spent about an hour behind closed doors at Adeloupe this morning to talk about the transition of power. Afterwards, it was all handshakes and smiles from one Republican to another. But the tough process of transition and deciding who will go and who will stay is only just beginning. We had a, a nice discussions with the governor, lieutenant governor, and dealing with some of the issues uh, of the administration, both on the financial end as well as uh, on some of the different agencies. Um, but it was more general in nature. Uh, we will be having further discussions in more detail uh, with, with the administration uh, so to ensure a smooth transition uh, of government. On Monday, the governor-elect appointed Democrat Dan Tidenko and Republican Jerry Chrysostomo to co-chair their transition team. They are working with Governor Camacho's transition team, which is chaired by Sean Gumatautau. Today's meeting, said Calvo, will be the first of many. We, we talked more in generalities, so there, as per as per, uh, recommendations for specific uh, positions, no, there was no discussion of that. Calvo will be taking power at a time when GovGuam is at a financial low ebb, facing a $265 million deficit and debt obligations of more than a billion dollars. But the governor-elect is counting on the buildup to turn uh, things around. There was never a time for us to to balance uh, or this deficit and come into a surplus mode and a time to reduce the deficit, it, it, it's going to be happening in these next few years as a result <coughs> excuse me, of this uh, military buildup and the economic vitality that will occur. The one cloud on the horizon of the transition is the threat of legal action from the guterres Ugin campaign. But Calvo is not worried. Uh, again, for my opponent, God, God bless him, uh, and if, if, if he wishes to file a lawsuit, that, that's his prerogative. But we feel very comfortable. The, spe the people have spoken, uh, the Guam Election Commission has spoken, and we are now moving forward with the Camacho administration uh, to ensure a smooth transition of government. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.